discuss with you the assignment which was given to all of you in the chapter introduction to the graphs i hope uh, you have learned how to label the x axis and the y axis correctly as you can see here x dash o x is the horizontal line it is representing the x axis y o y dash is the vertical line which is representing the y axis the x axis and the y axis they are perpendicular to each other and they intersect at the point o which is called origin so let me just share with you the location of origin where is the origin here it this point is the origin so how do we write the coordinates of the origin it is o and then you take small bracket and then write 0 comma 0 so 0 comma 0 is the coordinate of the origin let me mark that origin again so that it is clear to you so this point is called origin where the x axis and the y axis both are intersecting okay so now let us move a little further another way of representing the x axis and the y axis is you take the horizontal line put arrows on the both sides and write down x axis on one side of it similarly you take the vertical line and put arrows on both the sides and write down y axis on one side this is also one way of labeling the x axis and the y axis okay let us start the questions so in the beginning of uh, the assignment you were given certain multiple choice questions so let us uh, begin discussing these questions so the first question is 0 y are the coordinates of a point lying on which of the following okay you tell me 0 y i've shared this with you like 0 y they are the general coordinates of a point which lies on yes which lies on the y axis so if you see any point on the y axis the abscissa of that point would be 0 so how we represent that gen generally it is 0 comma y okay let us discuss now second one the point 3 2 is nearer to x axis y axis origin or none of these just imagine point 3 2 where you are going to plot point 3 2 yes point 3 2 will be in the first quadrant it will be 3 units away from the y axis and 2 units away from the x axis you know abscissa is 3 it indicates that perpendicular distance of the point from the y axis and ordinate here is 2 it indicates perpendicular distance of the point from the x axis so tell me the point 3 2 is nearer to yes it will be nearer to the x axis so answer is x axis because from the x axis the distance of this point will be 2 units very good okay now coming to the third part point 04 lies on which of the following we did this in the first part also it is of the type 0 comma y so any point of the form 0 comma y it lies on the y axis so an answer to this question is second part that is y axis okay the third uh, fourth part now 
by joining 110033 when you plot these points 110033 what do you get yes we get a straight line which passes through the origin actually 00 is origin so when you see 1133 when you join 001133 it makes a straight line so obviously it is pass passing from the origin so answer is a straight line passing through the origin fifth part the point 32 and 23 represent are they same points 32 and 23 no their location will be different so when you plot 32 and when you plot 23 they are placed at different locations so they are representing different points i hope all five uh, questions are clear uh, let us move on to the next question this is very interesting the question is plot the points a43 b40 c42 d46 and join them do they lie on the same line see how we have done this first we have plotted the points A four three. You can see the location of A four three. Please remember one thing. I have told you this in your class also that uh, when you are plotting a point, put a dot, and do not put a circle. Okay, put a dot. Dot indicates the location of that point, right? So here you can see the location of A four three. How do you get this A four three? Start from origin. Move four steps. in the right and then three steps upward so you reach to the point a43 next is b40 b40 will lie on x axis very good it will lie on the x axis and you see that any general point on the x axis is of the form x comma 0 like any general point on the y axis is of the form 0 comma y so here uh, if a point is lying on the x axis it will have some value for abscissa and the ordinate will always be 0 the third point is 42 you can easily plot d is 46 and when you join all these points please uh, put dots for extending these uh, uh, this particular line in both the direction and then put arrow also so it is asking one question do they lie on the same line yes when you join them we see that they lie on the same line i hope it is clear and this is a very interesting question okay come into the next one now draw a line passing through 4 5 and 5 4 okay and then find the coordinates of any other two points on a straight line interesting so what you are going to do is you plot Four five. You see here that we have plotted a four five, and then uh, we have taken the point b five four, and then join and extend in both the directions. And you can choose any two points on this line. Like here, we have taken uh, two points c six three and d three six. Answer can be any. and you can have infinite number of points on a line line so it's an open ended question so your answer will be can be different so you can take any two points other than which are given on this particular line and give the answer right so now i am moving to the next question uh this is interesting uh here what is asked is we need to draw the graph for the following table of values of time in hours it is given time is in hours and distance in kilometer covered by a car so what you are going to do on the x axis plot time take the time intervals and then on the y axis you take the distance and remember one thing here on the x axis you are you have like in this particular graph which you are observing we have taken two small square as one hour 
okay so this we have to mention in the scale so we write down on the x axis two big this squares uh, units is equal to 1 hour similarly on the y axis choose a proper scale like here you can see that one big unit is chosen as 60 kilometers perfectly fine so 60 120 180 like this the distance has been taken on the y axis now you can make ordered pairs what will be the first ordered pair 7 60 so you can plot next is 8 120 next is 9 180 next is 10 240 plot this and then two simple questions are asked Fi from the graph find the distance covered by the car during the period 7 to 8 am so can you tell me how many kilometers the car has traveled 7 to 8 kilometers yes we will be finding the difference between the kilometers so at 8 it covered 120 kilometers and it started at 7 and it it, it was at 60 uh, kilometer at that time so what is the difference it is 60 kilometers so distance covered uh, during the time 7 am to 8 am is uh, 60 kilometers right now the second point at what time the car would have covered 180 kilometers very interesting so you have to observe the graph now you see that till 8 am it covers how much yes 120 and then 9 am if you see it would have covered 180 kilometers it's given in the uh, data also plus you can observe this from the graph as well right okay let us move on to the next question draw a line passing through 2 1 and 1 2 okay we can draw that and find the coordinates of the point at, at which this line meets the x-axis and the y-axis very interesting question so you see in this question how you are going to do this plot the point 2 1 plot the point 1 2 join with the help of a ruler extend in both the directions till it is meeting the x-axis and the y-axis and here you can closely observe that this line on which this uh, particular uh, uh, this uh, is uh, lying here you can see that it is meeting the x-axis at I'm now plotting the point here you can observe this yellow dot this dot is 3 0 this point is 3 0 and on the y-axis you see this point is 0 3 so th this was asked in the question like you have to tell the point at which these lines are meeting the x-axis and the y-axis so you can say that the line joining 2 1 and 1 2 meets the x-axis at 3 0 and the y-axis at 0 3 i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you right okay now proceeding further you can see that i have written here certain points to remember so points to remember meaning you are going to remember marking off the x-axis and the y-axis correctly that is very very important next thing you have to remember writing the scale then capping the line with arrows on both the sides that is also important writing the ordered pairs how do you write the ordered pairs like if it is represented by a capital alphabet then small bracket x comma y where x is the abscissa and y is the ordinate right so last thing is marking the kink if required like in some questions when the kink is required when the distance between the points uh, the marking which you have taken is not equal then you mark the kink also 
okay so here in in the, this question uh, it was not desirable but in some questions you have to mark the kink so you have to remember these points when you are attempting questions related to the graphs in the examination i hope uh, these questions will help you in preparing yourself for the examination so all the best take care bye bye